Okay, got the base basically all tightened up, squared up fairly decent. I already have one of the steel rail assemblies put on here along with the bumpers on this side. Now I just basically put this on and uh, lightly snug the bolts, the nuts on the bolts. Now the bumper assembly is pretty straightforward. You got half inch bolts, or half inch socket head bolts, or hex bolts that will basically bolt into the top two holes in the end of the reel. There is a long socket head cap screw that goes through that side with a washer and a nut on the side. You just slide it on, tighten it up, and then uh, just assemble it to the end of the reel. And one of the things I did with the steel, this is 1020 steel, these holes were water jet cut uh, so that it has been exposed to some moisture. Um, there was, of course, some scale and some dirt on it, which is typical of getting steels. Uh, so what I did was I got one of these little foam abrasive pads, get the fine, and then basically wipe the dirt off, uh, and then just take this and just by hand go across it, and that'll take off any of the ferrous oxide that's starting to come up and any other loose scale that's left on the steel. And then just take some WD-40 with a rag, wipe it down, clean it up real good, and uh, WD-40 should keep it uh, protected for quite a while after this. Then for assembling it onto the side rails, basically the simplest thing to do is to just align all your bolts. Uh, and you're going to use the short ones uh, that they have in the kit. Just to line them up basically to where the holes in the rails are. And then you'll simply just uh, set the rail down and then put the nuts on and tighten them down. However, like I said, uh, these are just snug. Uh, once we start putting the gantry assembly together and uh, putting it on here, then we'll have to adjust these so that they run square with each other, starting with one side. Well, the other thing I wanted to note too is, is when you put your cross members on, there is a counterboard hole that you see here. Uh, what you want to do is, it doesn't matter which side you put them on, you just want to make sure that they're on the top. What that's going to do is that's going to allow you to put in additional bolts so that you can easily screw down or bolt down your uh, sub panel that you're going to put on or your spoil board, whatever you want to call it. So that's that and I'll finish putting these side rails on and then I'll start working on the uh, gantry risers. Thank you.